Hi, this is Chris Vogt. I have just set up a brand new Tome account and we're looking at it for the very first time. And so here is the opening page that you go to. And I actually did a referral link from another Tome account that I have that I played with for like 10 or 20 minutes the other day. And so um, as you can see, nine minutes under each of the little things there so this account's fresh it just got set up nine minutes ago and um, there was a notification when i got here that i had used the referral link for my other account and because of that i got an additional 50 extra credits if you go directly to the tome website you get 500 credits and you can see down here at the lower left corner it tells you how many credits you have available from what I've seen so far, and this program is pretty new, and who knows what they'll do in the future, but you get 500 credits if you go directly to their website and sign up for a free account. If someone refers you, then you get 550 credits. And you use those credits to create presentations. Once you create the presentations, um, you know, as you create them, depending on what goes into them, then it uses up your credits. So I'm doing a presentation later today for a group of commercial real estate agents. I just wanted to try what happens if I try to create a presentation in this program, because that's what this is supposed to do is create presentations. So you can see it pops in there and it gives you a thing down at the bottom of the screen to create a presentation about. My title today is Artificial Intelligence for Commercial Real Estate Agents 101. I've chosen presentation. I could have chosen outline or a story. I haven't used the other things, so I don't know how they work. Images, you get a choice of art style, cyberpunk, epic, fantasy, neo-impressionist, pop art, watercolor, no images. I'm just going to go ahead and choose auto. I don't know anything about what these other ones would do. So that would be some great experimentation to try. We put in our title of what our topic is. Let's hit enter and just see what happens. And so this is live. I'm not editing this. Um, and it's created a new title. And not only has it created a title, but it is also creating pages of text and artwork you can see the artwork showing up there on the side um and you saw exactly what i gave it i gave it very little information to create the artwork and as we are watching on the left it's creating screens and it looks like it's creating um, images to go with each of the screens so this will be kind of fun to see exactly what happens. Oh, says it's um, finished the presentation. Which one of these screens is that? That looks like, let's just, we went up to the top. Unlocking the power of AI for commercial real estate agents. That, so that's the title page. Introduction. So this is the menu of what we're going to be talking about today. And I didn't do anything to set this up. So this was kind of fun. An introduction to AI, then AI driven automation, predictive analysis, machine learning, benefits of AI for commercial real estate agents, challenges of implementing AI. So that's, that's what it wants us to talk about today. So let's go to the next screen. That's kind of cool. It's got a professional looking guy and a, looks like a professional office in a city. And what does it say here? Introduction to artificial intelligence for commercial real estate agents. Artificial intelligence AI is rapidly transforming the commercial real estate industry. AI powered tools are helping agents automate mundane tasks, identify trends, and help make better decisions in a timely manner. This presentation will provide an overview of AI and its potential applications in the commercial real estate sector. Topics covered will include AI-driven automation, predictive analytics, and machine learning. We will also discuss the potential benefits of AI for commercial real estate agents and the challenges they may face when implementing it. Well, let's go ahead and hit keep here so that that's not in the way. So nice detail on the desk there. Okay, that's cool. So, and if we hit our arrow keys, it takes us back and forth in the presentation. I like 
that uh, image that it auto-generated. That's cool. AI-driven automation. I can let you read this for yourself. I don't need to read it for you. And so it just talks about that a little bit. These screens, they actually make a lot of sense. Now, this is an interesting image. I don't quite get it, what it's trying to accomplish there. Predictive analytics. Okay, that's pretty cool. Wasn't what I was planning on talking about today. So let's highlight that photo. This here is a little open AI symbol over here, and it says Dall E settings. So let's open that up. And this is telling us, here's the prompt or the, the query that it made. It says a CGI character is standing in a modern office with a large window overlooking a bustling cityscape. The character is wearing a sleek black suit with a tablet in one hand and a stylus in the other. They are looking at a variety of different graphs and charts as if analyzing the data and making predictions. CGI character art style, digital art, highly detailed, intentional, 4K. So that's not telling us what those weird artifacts are. I don't see any women in this. It's women's month here. We're gonna say a professional female CGI character oh female in a dress um, standing in the modern office so let's let's regenerate this and see what it comes up with and now this is I'm recording this I'm not editing this so you can see how long it's taking Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's just take a look at these. Um, we can move that over to the other side. I like that. That's good. Click on the next one. That one's pretty cool too. And then we've got this one. I like the other ones better. And then the last one, kind of cool, futuristic. Yeah, I'm not sure why the images are down under the window. So I would say of these three, it's either this one or this one that I'd say are my favorite. Let's just go with that one. Let's leave that one there. Now let's go to the next page talking about machine learning is a process by which AI can be used to analyze data and identify patterns. This technology can be used to identify trends in the market, provide agents with insight, potential opportunities. Machine learning can also be used to identify potential risk and help agents. Machine learning help stay ahead, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so why they put machine learning in a 101 course? I don't know, but that's okay. They did. The next page here, the benefits of AI for commercial real estate agents. AI can help real estate agents automate mundane tasks. That's repeating what it said already. Did we go back to the prior page? No? Yeah, so that's a repeat. Okay. Where that one was, the AI. All right, let's go down to eight. Challenges of implementing AI. Ooh, I kind of like the little glimpse we have on the left of the robot. It looks like, or a sculpture that looks like a robot there. That's kind of cool. Let's see. Implementing AI can be challenging. Power tools expensive. Maintain. Time, effort, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah, that's not bad. I mean, it's really generic, but uh, it is it is definitely interesting. What I want to do is I want to go ahead and go to my notes for the presentation. And let's just see if we can add a new page and see what it does with a new page. So this is actually um, choose layout, heading, paragraph, text and media. Okay, let's choose this one, heading. There we go. Now, will it let me 
automate the page and auto create it. I don't record narration, add title, set theme, theme, tone, dark. No, but that's not really helping any. Commands, help. Okay, well, I'm going to need to go do some more work and learning how this works. But as you can see, it's pretty cool what it did. Well, I could see going back to editing this presentation and putting my own points into it. But for an example, this has been pretty cool. So, Tom, I'll put um, the link so that you can use my link, my referral link in the notes down below. And you can get an extra uh, 50 tokens, 50 credits, so you can play around a little bit more. Oh. So let's go ahead and try go back and let's look at our, our credits. So we started with 550 credits and we used 20 for that presentation. So that's not bad. So they give us quite a few tokens left to do this. So I need to do some studying, figure out how this really works. All right, that's it for now. Thanks.